Right up here we have an abbreviation CPCTC. Now we're going to be going one step further. We're going to do, we are going to be doing proofs to find an angle congruent and then once an angle is congruent, we're going to use that congruent triangle to prove other things. So we're going to be using congruent triangles to go further and we're going to talk about what the CPCTC stands for, okay? We're going to do that by doing a proof, okay? And so you have that as the very first one on your assignment. There's not a note sheets for this. We're going to do this by um, doing a proof, okay? And so our goal is not to prove a triangle congruent, to, pr to prove some sides are congruent. But first, we're going to prove a triangle congruent and then use that to prove those sides are congruent. So let's not worry about the, per the thing I've circled in purple right now. Let's just try to get the triangle congruent. So we have, we're going to mark, I'm going to mark in red what we know. GH is congruent to K KL. Angle G is congruent to angle K. And GI is congruent to KJ. How are these trying, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait. Everybody to mark it. How are these triangles congruent? Um, angle, side, angle. Not angle, side, angle. No. Side, angle, side, angle. Side, angle, side. And I'm going to write underneath as like a little bit of a plan. I'm going to write side, angle, side. Is there anything I need to write in purple that I need to get congruent? Mm. Everything is in the given right now, okay? <coughs> so we're going to do that part, and then we'll get to the proven in a minute. The first three steps will be given. That's true. Or we can have it all as our given in one step. Well, they already give us one of the givens. It's but they already no, give you your given? The given is just the first one. Okay, so you can, okay, so you can, um, th then there, for you guys, yes. You'll have, GH is congruent we'll do all the givens on a separate thing, just to, for yeah. space-wise. So they have the GH and the KL, is that what they have? Correct. So then it makes logical sense just to go in order, then, I guess, from there. Okay. And then, angle G. Angle K. Angle K. And then GI. KJ. So number one, two, and three are all I'm not given. Use my step. Oh my goodness, I spelled it wrong. How can I do that? They give us everything we need to prove the triangle is congruent in the proof. I mean, in the given. In the given. Now, so number four, we're going to write that they're congruent. Triangle. We have to, we have to get this in the right order. H. You want to do what? H I. You want to do? You want to do? How do you want to do? Just Brett. Just. I was going to say H G. Okay, H G I. Let's do that one. H G I. I agree. Okay, if we did H first, Brett, what do we have to do first on the next triangle? Uh, J. We did Wait. G. We did H first. L. L. Okay, and then we did G next. So K. Yeah, L K. J. J. Okay, L K J. I agree. Is this a I'm assuming we're gonna use C P C T C for the next one, but I don't know what that means. Okay, well, that's where that's exactly why we're gonna talk about that. All right. Number four, the reason was side, angle, side. That's what we stated over here on the side. Side, angle, side. Now, in your postulate books, if you already wrote it, you wrote, you wrote what CPCTC stands for. What is CPCTC? No, it was a definition, so we weren't supposed to put it in our... Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Come yeah, I, I... Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. All right. So, corresponding. so the, now that we know that triangles are congruent, all the corresponding pieces of the triangles are congruent. So... Anytime you have these triangles congruent, now we know they're congruent, so anything. H is now congruent to L. I is now congruent to J. That's so nice. And HI, I'm going to put it in purple. HI is now congruent to JL because the triangles are congruent. 
So we can now state that as number five, that HI. I write, and there's the C P C T C. Very good. Or if you want to, you can write the whole thing out, Amy. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Not going to happen. L J. Never going to happen. So let's just reiterate that um, the C P C T C means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. God. So once you get them congruent, you can use their corresponding parts. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. All right. The next one is there, how many are on there? Four. Four. All right. Here we go. So we have angle M, N, P, N, N, P, which is right there, is congruent to O, P, N, right there. And M, N, I should have done this in a different color. My bad. This and this. And then M, N is congruent to O, P. Is there enough in the given to make these triangles congruent? Yes. Well, yes, because it's because, sine angle uh, sine. Because M, M, no, M, M, is con MP, is NP is congruent to PN. I'm going to have to put that in a different color because I'm going to have to state that, right? So there isn't necessarily enough in the given. We're going to have to add one extra step. No. Okay, so we are not even trying. Are we trying to prove the triangle's congruent? No. But we, do we need the triangles to be congruent? Yes. yes. So we're going to have to prove them congruent, and then one step after, are the corresponding parts will be congruent. So this, what, what are we going to use to get the triangles congruent again? Side angle side. Side angle side. And we have two of them in the proof. Excuse me, in the given. We'll have to say one more after that. All right. Is so it, go ahead. Is it NP? N P is it N P and N P or N P and P N? N P and P N. Very good. You guys got it. All right. N P and P N. Very good. Yes. <laughs> On the ball. I love it. All right. You might have. The, they already have some of your given. Put no, they yeah. don't. Yeah. Angle. But they do have some of the given. I can just do angle N and angle P since there's only one of each, right? Oh no, I can't. No. If it was yeah. angle M and angle O, you could. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so I've got that. Okay, and P and P N. I had heard somebody say earlier. You guys are ahead of me. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to say that the two triangles are congruent. Ms. Carrie. Yes, ma'am. Wouldn't it be? Symmetric, not I'm wondering, but I think it's because symmetric says that if A equals B, then B equals A. That says that these are equal. We're not saying that N is equal to P and P is equal to N. We're saying that the same thing is equal to itself. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's a really good question. All right, we got to, um, Amy, I want you to tell me the first triangle that you wrote down. Are you there yet? Am I ahead um, of you? Yes. What triangle did you write down first? M and P. Okay, don't, and don't say anything yet. M and P. I did the same thing. Okay, Brett, what goes with M? Is it M? Mm-hmm. Uh, On the other triangle. Oh. Very good. And N? Very good. Uh huh. So M P N O P N O P N. Okay. I don't have enough room to squish all that in there. Number four, side angle side. Number five. Now that we have the triangles are congruent, we can state any corresponding part will be congruent to each other. M P just so happens to be corresponding to N O. So MP is congruent to NO. Amy, what reason are they congruent? Um, C, P, C, T, C. Very good. That's going to make my brain C, P, C, T, C. That makes your brain hurt. I'd speak relatively fast, so C, P, C, T, C is it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, same. <laughs> Got those extra I'm just thinking of what it means right now. Right. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. 
Mm-hmm. I know. All right. Why don't I just do the plan for this one? Oh Let's do God. the plan for this one. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, let's do the plan for this. We got this. This one's a little harder. We got some some parallel going on here. We got G H parallel. I'm gonna do it in red. Parallel to H. Should be to J I J. By the way, we got H and J congruent. And G. Oh, that's all it is, though. I know, but still. Okay. Three. All what this is is all less than four or five is the proof. Seriously? Yes. Oh, Here we go. We got, this is the red part. I've got the red stuff written from the given. Do we have enough right now to prove these triangles are congruent? Right now I have an angle and a side and some parallel. Parallel does not prove any triangles congruent, but it can be used to, do, to make some triangles, to some things congruent maybe. It could use um, HR as a transversal. We can use... H I as a, no because no. these are the I'm gonna do this these are the parallels. Yeah. Yes, H I is, uh, yeah. but I don't think that will help us as much. Mm -hmm. If we did that, we can get this and that congruent, but that won't help us. Wait, how could we get? Actually, wait, I did that wrong. It would have been this congruent to that. That won't help us. Yeah. My bad. My bad, Amy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So what else can we do? What are the transversals? We could have this as a transversal. What else could we have as a transversal? G-I. G-R-G-K. Yeah. So if that's a transversal, what's congruent? Um, um, no. G and I. G and... So like the other side of the I. The other side of the I, which is J-I-K, right? Does that help us? Wait, G-I-K. Uh, yes, because that'd be side angle yeah. side. That will be side angle side or now. Angle side angle, sorry. Angle oh, 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 you keep getting those back Angle, side angle, correct? And so you could, Amy, state that is angle G, by the way. But you cannot state that is angle I. There are like four or so X angle I's there. <laughs> so you cannot state angle I. You could say angle G. So you could do the given, and in the given, your event, then you'll have angle G congruent to angle J, I, K. What's the reason for that one? I'm trying to speed up. We're going a little bit late on time. Corresponding angles. Very good. I love that. That's going to probably be about step four if you give all the rest of those. I said heard corresponding. Is corresponding angles a postulate or a theorem? Do you guys remember? Uh, it, is it is a postulate. Good job. All right. After we wrote all those givens in there, plus this one, will we have the triangles congruent? By what? Uh, angle, side, angle. And then we'll, how will we prove? CPCTC. CPCTC. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to let you do me a favor so that we can get to the next proof because we got one more. I'm going to ask you to just give yourself a note about angle side angle if you haven't gotten it all down. So that you choose, And CPCTC for that last one. So we can move to the next one if we could. Something happened on my... 4.5. We should have more than just proofs. All right. You don't, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes, it is. All right. CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Last one. Wait on. on last on one for this notes. For this notes. For 4.5. Yes. We have some parallel again. Do that in red. I have G-H and J-I, same as before, but this time we have I as the midpoint of K, H-K. How did we mark that in the past? Um, I, I don't know. I just put it to die. How did we do it, Heidi? Um, eight, nine, H-I, complete to Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. it is. And I'm going to do it in purple because purple tells me I have to write it in the, as one of the proofs, right? That H-I is congruent to I. And I think it's, yep, I-K. And that'll be definition midpoint. That's correct. And so then they also are telling us that G-H is congruent to J-I. Do we have enough information right now with what marked to prove these triangles congruent? No. We need to get some kind of angle in there. We need to get some kind of angle in there. Or 
the following side. Or another side, for to have side, side, side. We haven't used the parallel part yet. We've used the midpoint thing, but we haven't used anything in parallel. So I like to lengthen my lines to help me understand the, um, how to, what that means. And which transversal are we going to use? Uh, H-I. Okay, I'm going to do H-I-K, actually. Oops, I don't know why I have it in yellow, but I did it. It's okay. So what's, what uh, angles are now congruent? Um, H-I-M-I-K. Yeah, the G-H-I and J-I-K. The G-H-I, this one? Yes. Okay, and that one? Is that what, yeah, does so that, that make sense? Yeah, side angle. So that would be, so, that, so we'll get that by corresponding. So we're going to use definition midpoint. Let me put a little. We're going to use definition midpoint to get those purples. We're also going to use corresponding angles. Postulate. And then we're going to use CPCTC. Oh, wait. And how are we getting them congruent? Same side angle side. And CPCTC. Of course, given in there too. Those are our little notes for yourself, your plans for these. The next page should have, you're going to fill in the blanks except for the last one. So let me just give you some little hints on that page too. Not for very long though. All right? Again, corresponding parts are congruent, trials are congruent. Well, what am I supposed to do with this thing at the bottom? Thing I'll show you in a second. Let me just, let, we'll, we'll do that. Look at your proofs on 4.5. Page one we did together. All right? Page two, you will be using CPCTC. So you might want to give you, so this is page one we did together. Page two, state something about, we'll use CPCTC on this. But page three, you will, you will just be proving the triangles are congruent. Wait, page three. There's three pages of proofs. We one did one together. There's going to be a the second one. You're, you'll practice the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And the next one, you're just proving the triangles congruent. Practice from before. Naraya asked me, how is she going to do that third one? The third one, you're going to do yourself a favor, and you're going to draw next to it on the right a little statements, statements and proof. You'll draw your little yeah. You'll draw a little, and you'll write statements on one side and reasons on the other. Okay, I'm not, I'm not this time. I'm not doing anything for you. I'm not even giving you your little box yeah. for you. Okay. My frame's gonna explode just looking at this. I can tell you that right now. You're gonna do just fine. You guys were giving me a lot of confidence as we were going through these. You were, you're, I can tell you're starting to get this proofing a little bit better than you had before. It's still not the easiest thing in the world. Don't get me wrong, but it's getting better. I can tell. All right, we just did. First, that you're gonna, you will prove the triangles congruent first. Then you will prove the triangles corresponding parts are congruent. Mm -hmm. And your reason is CPCTC. All right. You may then use those corresponding parts to even prove more things later. We could even use those corresponding parts to prove things are parallel. We could use those corresponding parts to do everything. So we could even make that longer. That's a little advertisement for later. Okay.